Hi everyone, so in this video I wanted to explain how I lucid dream so regularly. I would say on a good week I can have a lucid dream up to five, maybe more times, five nights. Um, and on a bad week, probably one to two lucid dreams in that week. Um, obviously sometimes it is much lower than that, like sometimes I'll have a couple of weeks where I don't lucid dream at all, and then other weeks I'll have, you know, the odd couple of days where I lucid dream a lot. You know, like maybe I'll um, have a lay-in or something, or like I'll dream chain in the morning, so I'll have one lucid dream, wake up, write it down, have another one, write it down, go back to sleep. And you know, I can do this about four or five times some, some mornings, but really I wanted to just explain how I lucid dream regularly, as in what what things do I do to ensure that I can have regular spontaneous lucid dreams. So before we get into this video, please click the notification bell. I'm sure you've heard me say subscribe, leave a comment, leave a like. Um, because it, you know, it lets me know that you guys are interested in it. Uh, it starts a conversation in the comment section. So, so yes, the reasons I lucid dream regularly are, there's actually a, there's a handful of reasons. And the first one is that I eat well. So I eat a plant-based, mainly vegan diet um, pretty much all the time. And so what this does is that allows my body to get all the nutrients and vitamins that it needs in order to optimize my condition, you know, my mental condition, my, my physical condition and uh, my dreams, my sleep. So, you know, believe it or not, if you eat a really bad diet, then you're not going to sleep as well because your body's working hard to try and digest all the junk that you've been eating. Um, if you've been eating, you know, crisps and, and uh, high fatty sugary foods before bed, your body's gonna have a hard time digesting those foods. So yes, I eat plant-based diet. It's really good for fighting off diseases and staying healthy, but also sleeping and dreaming better. So that's the first thing. The second thing is every single morning when I wake up, I have a routine that I go through. And this routine will look something like this. So I'll wake up, write in my dream journal, do a reality check, and then I'll write in my daily journal, read through my goals, meditate, and then have a shower. And then maybe I'll do some other things like I'll, you know, learn some Spanish or whatever I'm trying to do. You know, if I'm trying to habit stack things, I'll add the habits on to the morning routine. And it gets done. You know, it gets done first thing in the morning and uh, that's the best way of doing it. So by having this routine, and especially by meditating every morning, I feel like that helps me massively with lucid dreams. It gives me those regular, what we're all aiming for really, guys, is, is those spontaneous lucid dreams where you don't really have to put any effort into getting them. Um, and that only comes with practice, time and patience and also having a good routine or good habits. Those habits are obviously things like eating well, sleeping well, meditating and doing reality checks all the time. Once you've built them into habits, right, so once you've built it to the point where it would be weird not to do those things, it's sort of effortless. You know, I don't really think about my morning routine anymore, I just do it. Um, you know, in much the same way that you brush your teeth in the morning or, you know, have a shower after the gym. Or, you know, these things, are, but they become habit. And once they've become a habit, it's very hard not to do them, and therefore they, you always do it, so it always gives you the results. So that's the second thing, the morning routine. I also combine this with having an evening routine, so I'll do pretty much a similar routine in the evening. Depending on if it's a hot day, I'll usually have another cold shower. Um, I might meditate, and then I might learn some more Spanish, do a bit of reading, and then look through my previous dream journal entries. Now this routine will vary a bit depending on the time of year, you know, if the evenings are longer or shorter I might change the routine up a bit um, and I'll make a, another video about that as we get into winter. But for the most part I just have a very simple small evening routine where I just read, relax, wind down and more importantly not have any, any screens on for an hour before bed. Whether that's my phone screen, laptop, TV, I won't have any of that on. Um, because as I said before, the blue light enters your eyes, enters your retinas, and stops you producing melatonin, which makes you feel more awake. This, as a result, makes it harder to fall asleep. So there's that, there's the evening routine. There's also, and I think this is quite important, I wouldn't say that any of these are more important than the other. It's sort of a holistic uh, method here. You know, all of these things work together synergistically to make me have random lucid dreams. But the fourth thing is my critical awareness. So ever since I was a kid, I've always asked questions. I've always been curious and I've never really accepted what was in front of me as just being the, as being true. You know, I've always asked myself or other people, well, how does it work? Why is this here? Who made this? Why did they make this? Why is the system this way? And these questions have stayed with me throughout my whole life. I've always been pushing the boundaries, asking questions, asking, you know, asking things like, is it possible to work for myself? Is it possible to grow a YouTube channel with no experience? Is it possible to completely change my diet and feel better and 
all sorts of things really. There's loads and loads of things I always ask, you know, can it be done better? Why is it done like this? That critical awareness is with me throughout the whole day. So if I see something strange in the street, if I see somebody, like the other day, there was a guy dressed up as a big bumblebee to promote some sort of food shop thing in town. The second I saw the bumblebee, without even thinking, I, I said to myself in my head, you need to do a reality check because this is a strange event, you know, and if you do reality checks when you see strange things, then eventually they'll show up in your dreams and it'll give you a loose dream. It happened without even thinking. And so this is the critical awareness that you should aim to build. Whenever you see something strange, whenever you see something that maybe isn't quite right or could be a dream, do a reality check and ask yourself if you're dreaming. Anyway, that's it guys. I thought this would be a, a concise, it's a fairly long video, but I packed a lot into it. I spoke quite fast and hopefully you found this useful. So if you did find, if you've actually watched this far into the video, please let me know by commenting Bumblebee. And I don't know, it might be funny.